Hello everybody, Night and Anna does. How's everybody this Thursday? I was gonna put a video out yesterday, but I was too pissed off. Pissed off about the new speaker of the house is really quite a louse. Man, I did some looking into him. I'm not happy. He's a jerk, man. He is so far up the mango moose knuckles, moose knuckle, that nobody should be that high up, I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah, there's that. It's that horrible massacre that took place in Maine uh, yesterday. Oh, I think there's over 18 dead, something like 13, 15 wounded, a couple are in intensive care. Not a good thing. Um, and of course, he was mentally ill, so we don't have to worry about gun, th uh, gun laws, right? You know that's what's coming, right? You know that. Hang on, I gotta pick up a big branch. Like, big. Big, big. So yeah, you know that's coming, right? Oh, it's the mental health. Well, this guy's been in and out of hospitals and everything else. Still, they have pretty good gun laws. They do background checks and stuff in Maine. But you know what they don't do background checks on? The guys that are buying their guns in parking lots. So maybe we could tighten stuff up there. That would be good, right? So yeah, over 18 people did. The whole town's on lockdown. Well, this maniac is out there. I don't know if he's hunting for new targets or what, but there's that. And the bright spot of my day yesterday was Michael Cohen on the stand. I don't know, he lied, but you know what? He admitted it and they know what he lied to. They watched it on TV, the congressional hearings and all that stuff. He admitted to it, but he admitted to it because they were going to that an 87-page indictment against his wife who did absolutely nothing, but he, like he said, he would do anything to save his wife. Anything, he said. If it took a lie to do it, he lied. So, there's that. But the best part is when Elena Haba was questioning him on the stand, she asked him, you lied about this. You're a felon, blah, blah, blah. And she'd ask him, she goes, true lawyer for, asked and answered. Your honor, you can't do that. He's doing his own objections. <laughs> well, it's like anything else. When you're a cop, you like looking into crimes and stuff like that. When you're a lawyer, you don't stop lawyering, even though your license is taken away, which I think should be reinstated, considering some of the shady shit they did. Like, um, Cheeseboro there with the fake electors, that was his game. And how about the, um, Sydney Kraken lady there? Her cause and all that shit, right? And all the lies and stuff she told. She's still going to be a lawyer, you know that, right? She got sanctioned, but sanctioned lawyers can still practice. I was hoping the bar would step up and go, mm, no, we don't want her. Or Cheeseboro, oh no, we don't want him. Or any of the other crazy loopy people. But yeah, that's where that's going with that. But Michael telling her, asked and answered. And then she got all really pissy with him. And she started questioning him and she got a little heated. And he just looked at her and he said, why are you yelling at me? So there was that. So that kind of shut her up. So he's done on the stand for this New York trial now. A um, couple lawyers were on there saying they knew he was a liar. Don't know why they put him on there. And then I heard Michael Popak on the Midas Touch. And uh, Miss Ignifilo, I like saying that, Ignifilo. She was uh, going on saying, you know, I'd put him back on the stand for any case because I'd preface that whole thing the first day on the, on the stand. I'd be there saying, you lied about this, you lied about that, you lied about the other thing. And he's going, yes, yes, yes. So she prepares the jury for all that stuff ahead of time. So when it comes to cross-examining, the jurors are sitting in the box going, oh, we heard about this already. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of bullshit going on, I'm just saying. Tons of it. Tons and tons of bullshit. So... We'll see what's going on today, but I do have a piece I wrote about uh, Mr. Mike Johnson there, Mr. Holier Than Thou, my arse. 
The stuff he wants is disgusting. That's what I'm saying. And the stuff he tells people, all under the name of Republican Jesus. But anyway, that was a, low, a couple really low points in Maine there. My heart goes out to them families, man. There's still some that don't know where their kids are because they haven't made it back to the the center yet where they were looking for uh, bringing people to gather. So we'll see. There was a man on there this morning crying. I felt so bad for him. So anyway, there's that. And I will be back to talk to you later. Be good, be safe, take care of you. Naughty Nan loves you. It's going to be at the dining room table, just warning you. Too wet and soggy out here. Old joints don't like that stuff. All right, you take care of you. Have a good one.